been in the ring with someone that's on steroids? Oh, yeah. I thought Oscar Dorothy was on steroids. I'm not gonna lie. That motherfucker is crazy. He was, I hit him with some shit. Yeah. Bro, I, this dude. <laughs> Terminated. I'm like, I'm like, okay, bro. Why did I lie? 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 Right, you know, people who describe this training camp as like the build up to this fight is chaotic. Are you someone who like thrives in chaos? Bro, I'm trolling everybody, bro. This is a fucking joke to me. This is entertainment, bro. Entertainment. I do stupid shit. Oh my god, he's acting crazy. Like, bro, Jim Carrey does this shit all the time. You guys don't say shit. Ryan, you you guys don't know acting, bro. Improv. I can do Ryan. any fucking scene right now. Ryan, Ryan. Say hello to my little fucking friend. Just kidding, he's big. See, you mean like, Ron, you know what I'm saying? Ron Tyson Fury says that. But yeah. people don't get that shit. Like, this dude's going crazy. This dude, this dude's going nuts, bro. End scene. Perfectly fine on Mount Rushmore Ryan, of actors Ryan, right now. Oh, I like Jack Nicholson, Leonardo DiCaprio, Matthew Conaghy, Al Pacino. Look, there's a lot. Brad, no, it's Brad's good too. Ryan, did you say he's challenging you? He's challenging you. I will step in the middle of the ring with him. I'll take his hardest jab and then start like, let's go. Right there, I'll just close my eyes. Hit me, bro. Ryan. Ryan, did you spark Frank Martin? Nah, nah everybody's Ryan. been trying to say that. Ryan. Decapitation. I'll kill this motherfucker. Right. Some way, somehow, I might go main it. I might just say fuck boxing with you. Said, Thank you, the Lord Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Thank you, Jesus. 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 You're going to get that book and read it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus is King, King of Kings, King of Kings. No. Okay. He is the King of Kings. Jesus is the one above all. Okay. How you guys doing? What do you guys want me to say? I've already said everything. I mean, what do you want me to do? I've already, I've, I've already done it all. I've already said it all. I've done it all, and now I'm just ready to kick ass. I'm ready to. I'm going there and just fuck this man up. You don't understand. I'm gonna fuck him up. You don't know what I've been training like. You don't know the vision I have. You now nah, I know I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I'll break this whole thing right now. That's how I'm fire. I'm strong. I'm strong. I'm strong. I'm strong. I'm strong. I'm strong. Ah, ah. I'm louder than that whole team. They got like five people there. Look how loud. Woo! We couldn't hear you, bitch. Everybody was just sitting on their feet. But what was running through your mind? Um, is this going to be the moment I stop them? That's just all I was thinking. I shouldn't have put too much pressure on myself to stop them. Because every time I heard them, I just went crazy and I just couldn't finish them. But I, I, at the end of the day, I think, um, what's his name? Harvey Dog? I think he was tripping. He should have stopped that fight. He should have been stopped the first. It was bad. He he, he was really hurt. Yeah, I felt I felt bad. I even looked at Bill, eleventh round, twelfth round. I was like, well, you probably should stop this. But um, he didn't, and uh, that's it. Uh, Radio Rock, you check it out. I am curious what you did think overall of the referee's performance, particularly in the seventh round. Horrible. It was a horrible round. Yeah, I mean, the guy was holding me for dear life, and I found an opportunity to keep swinging while my hands were free, and I cracked him, and then he took point away when I cracked him. But he howled me, and then, like, I should have knocked him out in that seventh round. They stole that from me. Yeah, the, the referee was horrible. I think everybody in the arena saw it was horrible. It should have been stopped the first time, and Devin was holding and holding and holding, and Ryan got a point deducted for it. That was ridiculous. That was crazy. i never seen some shit like that. He was holding me, and I just whap! I whapped him, and then he was hurt, and I was like, yes, done. And then, oh, point taken out. <laughs> the the real Josh Johnson, uh, Amsterdam News, in the front. Uh, Ryan, and I'd love to hear what Bernard and Oscar has, have to say too. Brilliant uh, game plan, Ryan. Uh, did you, uh, right in the first, oh, right in the first round. Did you think Haney felt your power in the first round? 
And how did you how did you proceed? <laughs> oh, he got wobbled bad. I mean, I, I'm surprised he has such good heart and like recovery. Bro, I cracked him in that first round. I thought it was over. I'm like, I won't. Easy work. And then he came out firing in the second. He even hurt me with the hook. And I was like, damn, maybe you do got a little power. Mike <laughs> Hoppinger. Brian, Mike Hoppinger, ESPN. Yeah, I see you. Congratulations, Ryan. Thank you. Um, look, Oscar, you said you're in, in the lead up to this fight that some fighters thrive in the chaos and need that. Ryan, does that help you? Does this chaotic build up really help you focus on? So Man, you, you don't know half of the shit I've been through in my life. Like, that shit was nothing. Like, I've been through some crazy ass moments. This whole fight week was crazy. <laughs> like, crazy. You have no clue. Y'all have no clue. <laughs> Fucking open. <laughs> Shit's hilarious. He'll come out one day. Alright, do you have a call? Yeah, and um... Oscar, what do you I swear, I swear I had brown hair on Monday, now I got gray hair. <laughs> yeah. No, but look, Ryan, I mean, look, Evan Haney was on everyone's pound for pound list. He's a great boxer, and you dropped him three times, he's never been down before. Yeah. Lord, so huge win. But look, how, how does this feel? You know, you were counted out, and this is a monster, a monster victory. I mean, it's our, I mean, like I said, my, me and my coach, he, he's instilled in my mind, literally brainwashed me, what's next? So at the end of the day, what's next? I don't care. Like at the end of the day, I already knew I could beat him. I was supremely confident. Am I happy? Of course. But at the end of the day, like, I'm all about trying to fulfill the will of God and keep it moving. So what's next? Who's Amen. next? Amen. Amen. God did. Amen. Let's God go. did. Hey Ryan, what's going on, man? Right in the front, right in the yeah. This is Najee from Cigar Talk. Uh, congratulations, big, big win tonight. Um, this win, you know, in spectacular fashion with all the knockdowns, people have already started clamoring about a Tank uh, part two. How do you feel just, you know, obviously Tank has to take care of his business uh, with Frank Martin in June, uh, but how do you feel? What are your thoughts on trying to make that happen? Real disrespectful. You, you can talk about whatever after that, but that's disrespectful. You don't take care of the business. Just take care. Get into that. I like it. I'm gonna take them. That's Frank Martin's trainer. I know. I interviewed Derek. Derek knows. I'm just saying is that's a that's a fight that people are clamoring for. At the end of the day, no disrespect. Tank 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 Tank
front. All right, right there. Mike Feldman with Give Me Sport. Um, I know you guys just mentioned Davis. Uh, in my opinion, I believe rematch with Devin would be a step back. Um, in your opinion. Who would you like to fight as? And could it be in New York? I felt like the New York crowd was really gravitating. I mean, I had a vision to fight Fondura at 154. I just know, I don't know why. I just feel like I could knock him out. I know that's really, really random, but I just feel like I could get the title at 154. Real quick, I fought guys that big before, and I've knocked them out. He's fine. Cold. Select them. So, I'm going to do it. Shout out Fondura, though. No discipline. Or our, I don't know. Like bottom line is this: go rest, go rest, and then go back to the drawing board. We're gonna pick the best fight that Ryan thinks is the best fight, and we're gonna make big fights. We're gonna make big, big pay per views. That's what it's all about. Give the fans what they want. Look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you the, I'll tell you the truth. Ryan is gonna rest. Had a great win. Let him enjoy it. Enjoy this. And guess what? I don't care. Ryan's calling all the shots now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ryan's calling Man. all the shots now. That's the fact. He wants, to, he wants to fight at 47. <laughs> he wants to fight at catch weight. But guess what? If anybody wants to make money, if anybody wants to make money, they have to fight Ryan. And guess what? He's going to call all the shots. King Ryan, That's it. King Ryan, and guess what? He's going to give you an exciting fight every single time.